just after 7 o'clock. We're going back to the car to go to Alsun today. It's about eight hours of driving, so long day of driving. So we made a de detour to Dale. We thought it was the Dale of the Dale of Norway, which makes really fancy sweaters. Um, but it turns out it's not that Dale. It's a different Dale because there's multiple Dales in Norway apparently. Um, but that's okay. It's incredibly beautiful, and there's a cool bridge over there. So Nathan just put the drone up, and we're gonna go get some cool shots of that bridge probably. So. I mean, I got it, but I don't know if you'll be able to. This place is called Ford. Yes. Yes, it is. Nathan's really excited about it. Very pumped. I don't know if you could see that sign on the way in, but it said Ford. It's spelled with a weird O and an E at the end. That's how I spell my name. Uh, Nathan's going to start spelling his name that way. Unfortunately, our time in Ford was brief, but you can always say there's a Ford amongst us, I guess, so it's a nice, <laughs> nice thing to say. Uh, we're now at Huldefossen, so in Norwegian, Fossen, F-O-S-S-E-N, means waterfall. In Iceland, it was Foss, F-O-S-S, -S, so the Norwegians have added an E and an N, uh, and that's where we're going to go now. Please, come along for the ride.
Hi, uh, Courtney's going to talk to you about our day. People have told us they want more diversity in our content. Yeah, we've heard that we've heard that people are getting tired of seeing mine and Nathan's face. Some and parents are wondering if their children are still alive, and I'd like to reassure them that they are. They're just camera shy. <laughs> so, up next, Courtney will describe to you what we're doing right now. Courtney? Hello, friends. <laughs> Here we are in the lovely hostel, Alisund hostel. We are now headed down to um, both a pizza buffet and the shops down along the water. Apparently it's one of the more beautiful areas here. Then we're going to take a walk up a hill. I think it has 418 steps. Ish. Uh, yep, 418. Uh, we'll do that. Maybe see some sun setting up there. Uh, that's, that's if it's weird. not too... <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm stuck wool shopping again. I'm also getting sick. Um, I don't know, man. That's a lot of pizza buffets. Established in 1842, Asan is referred to the Venice of the North, uh, known as for canals and local seafood. It's easy to see why. Only half that. Oh. Asan fact number two. In 1972, Switzerland attacked due to the buildup of gold deposits here in Alsant. Uh, they attacked by ships, uh, as they do not actually have an air fleet because they're so landlocked with mountains. So, there's another fun fact for you. Alsant fact number three. In 1964, that's not the date I wanted. <laughs> I was going to say sidewalks were invented, but that's clearly a lie. In 1664, the first sidewalk in Norway was established here in the colony of Alsander which was actually named after Marcus Alessandro, the, the original person who Alessandro is actually named after. Uh, the inventor of the sidewalk, or the first one to implement it, was Pierre-Emerick Weibach, who lived, in the, <laughs> who lived in the colony with his wife and 14 children. You're not actually going to put any of this. I'm probably going to put all of it. Fun Alessandro fact number four. Okay. Uh, Alessandro fact number one, two, and three are all That's fake. <laughs> Greg, I would like you to buy that car, please. Uh, there's Teslas everywhere here in Norway. It's fantastic. <clears throat> so, Alsan fact number five. Um, the Norwegian seagulls they have here are actually the largest in the world, mainly due to the amount of shrimp that restaurant owners just throw out the window and the seagulls end up eating. So, if the next time you come to Alsan, you look at a seagull and you think it looks big, thank the restaurant owners. Yeah. There's a restaurant right now that does that activity. <laughs> Boo! After downtown, it was time to climb to the top of Askala Viewpoint to check out the view below. Then, a new episode of everybody's new favorite series. No, I just had a sick team. Okay, hi, welcome to Fjords. Just Fjord. Just Fjord. Welcome to Fjord. Hi. 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 Um, today we hi, are in... Hi, Nathan. Oh, hi, Willie. Uh, today we are in Alsand, which is north of Bergen, about eight hours-ish. So F, F stands for... Features. Features. Um... Got a TV? We have six beds, which yeah, is six too beds. many. Anybody in the house, I'm feeling like hit us up. We got two beds. Two top bunks. Uh, got some chairs. I mean, it's a hostel. Uh, it's a very nice it for a hostel. It's very nice for a hostel. It's, more, it's, the more, it's mostly like a hotel room, what this is. Pretty much a hotel but room. But then there's like a... There's like... 
washer and dryer downstairs. Mm -hmm. and common room. With the kitchen and stuff, so. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 Fjord because for a hostel, sure. this is pretty, pretty excellent. It's a lot better than our budget hotel we had last night. Uh, I'm going to give it, what did you give it? 4? I gave it 4. Yeah, I was going to give it 4.5. Well, do it then. 4.5 Fjords out of 5. Amazing. Joy. Next up is Jay. Uh, when I walked into the room, I actually experienced quite a lot of joy. I was very impressed with our hostel room. It's a corner room. We have view. We can see three, three different three streets. Windows. Yeah, we can see three different streets. One. Okay. I think we can two, see two. And then I'll count that as a separate street that way. Lots of different beds. Again, a nice TV. You know, mm. for joy, I'm also going to give it a 4 out of 5. All things considered, 4 Fjords. I, out of five. I agree. 4 out of 5 Fjords. Oh. Optimal. Just, Always for optimal. And basically that's like value of the place that we're staying. So we paid a little bit more than the one we, we had last night, but I think it's significantly better. Do, do you do Yes. You agree? I do. <laughs> you paid like 20 to 25 dollars more. Yeah, but we also... I think it's two more beds. We get friends over. Um, for me, optimality, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 pure. Optimality. Uh, optimality. Sure. Awesome. Optimality. Good word. 4 out of 5, I agree. 4 out of 5. Optimal. Wow. Radius. Radius is very Our good here. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. right next to the big old mountain that you climb. Yeah. We're right next to the town. We're right in the town, basically. A few canals, few restaurants, few grocery stores. You know, your boy likes the grocery stores. Yeah. Um, so you know what? I'll just we'll shorten this. I want to go to bed. So this is going to be a again another four to five for me. Wow, four to five is all across the board yeah. almost. Yeah. Honestly, you know what? Actually, I lied. It's going to be four point five to five. It's, it's a pretty good spot. We're in town, outside. I was going to say four point five. I think I think we're pretty pretty good spot. Isn't all we? right. There you go. There you go, and last but not least, a category which we should not be doing right now because we always find it in the morning. Drone ability. Drone ability. We haven't flown the drone yet here. Well, we will tomorrow. But Nathan's gonna get up really early. Do you want me to come with you? You can do whatever you like. I will be leaving at 4:30 a.m. I'm going to do a walk of the city. I hope That's to use six hours from now. I hope to use all three batteries. Really? Yes, and then come back and charge them before we leave. That's the plan. Uh, there, yeah, drone ability, you know what? I think I'll be able to fly tomorrow. I have a couple spots picked out. Doesn't look like there's any military bases, or I only saw one Coast Guard ship. It's pretty far away. Um, I've enabled my GPS. That might also help. Um, so, drone ability, I'm going to give it a tentative. So, we're going to put a star by this number, or a star over these fjords. Uh, I'm gonna give it a tentative 3.5 out of 5, just because you never know, you know? You know? You never know. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a pretty prime drone location. If, I'm if, thinking more capability, not just us. I know, I guess. But I just think it's gonna be really nice when you do put it up. Hopefully. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a rating of 4 out of 5. Please. Oh, wow. Christopher, you said that. Did you not say that? I did not. Oh. You can check whenever we. I really hope the mic's edit. on. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Fjord. Not Fjords, but Fjord. Singular Fjord. One Fjord, two Fjords. Uh. You know what? We may as well just lump the exit into this, too. Fair enough. Hey, tomorrow can always be better. Hope to see you there. Bye bye I just winked with my mom. <laughs>